Oh, hey, welcome to day two. I am happy to report to you that today was much better than yesterday. There was no uh, bird poop involved. There was no snail slash snake eggs. I didn't have to cut three quarters of an inch off a bunch of two by sixes that wasted my whole day. None of that happened. Today was much better. Way better mood today. Um, as you can see, we started rough sanding today. Um, the first couple clips, there was a million staples in this floor. Whoever was the, the fasteners guy that was nailing everything and stapling everything, he was super trigger happy. The guy was putting, uh, I don't even know how many staples. You can see them all over the place. I should have probably vacuumed them up here, but I kind of just let the, let the sander vacuum on them up. Um, they're all scraped off there though. Um, so 40 grit paper on the big machine going over the entire floor. We're cleaning off that old finish. We're cleaning off scratches, glue, like you can see here that the carpet was glued down and stapled. They wanted that carpet to never come off there ever. You can also see in these clips, these black spots that are kind of apparent there at the foreground and in the next clip, these are plugs. Um, this floor was installed kind of a super old school way. What they would do is screw it down from the top, which obviously you don't want a big screw head on the top of your board. So they would insert these little wooden plugs. They chose to do these a super um, dark color, um, which it, that's the grain of the wood because uh, obviously they're sanding and they're staying dark. So I don't know if it's like a, like a walnut insert or an ebony insert or whatever, but those were all over and obviously those are going to stay in the floor. Um, now we've moved into the uh, master bedroom. You can see it's sanding pretty clean. Something interesting kind of happened today. I don't know if interesting is the right word, but um, definitely not awesome. This room looks to be white oak. The room I was just sanding in, I'm pretty positive is red oak. Um, there is tons of red in those boards. This room is is different. It wasn't installed. It does it, at the same time. It doesn't have the plugs all that sort of thing, and it looks to be white oak in here. Now there are boards that are a lot more red, but overall it looks to be white. Why is that important? Well, my repair is red oak, only red oak. There's no mixture on that. So that is not awesome. So I, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do about that. I don't know if I might be tearing out that repair and doing it over again with white oak, or if we're gonna end up staining this whole floor, I mean, the white oak is not going to match the red oak of the two rooms anyway, so we might be needing to adjust kind of what the plans are. I wanted to show you here how I change out my sandpaper. Kind of just open up the hatch, pull off the old piece of sandpaper, insert the new, tighten it down, and keep right on rolling. That's how I do it. It's as quick as that. This is not sped up for once. Uh, so I just wanted to show that. I had someone ask about it. Um, so then we continued on rough sanding. Um, I was able to get the entire floor rough sanded today. Um, I'm planning to work on those transitions tomorrow, as well as hopefully get a good start on fine sanding. I'm hoping to be coating at a minimum on Thursday. Um, also, shameless plug time. I have created a YouTube channel as well as an Instagram. I am showing a lot of these same clips. This video is going to be posted to both. However, I am going to try and do exclusive content for each of them. So YouTube will have some stuff that the others don't have. Instagram will have the same. It'll have content that TikTok and, uh, you know, the others don't have. So if you enjoy um, the videos I'm putting out and want to support those, I would love you to follow and subscribe there. And with that said, I'll see you tomorrow.